All right, and we are live with the Evil Within. This is specifically the um, there we go. This is specifically the new Game Pass version for. I'm sorry. This is specifically the PC Game Pass version. This is technically a different build than what's currently available on Steam or I don't know if this is on Epic Game Store. The point being, this is a different version. It has some options that weren't in the original release. Um, such as you can turn on unlimited ammo, and you can also play in first person. Um, I don't know if I'll do that by default. Doesn't seem to... The game obviously wasn't built with this in mind. But, um... Probably just gonna stick with third person. Since that was the intended vision, and I will respect that. Able, disable, there we go. Apparently my mouse is still on screen. As with most um, smells like blood. Japanese games of its era and like obviously before then, uh, typically not the most optimized of uh, PC ports. We're gonna check it out. Don't uh, anyone else Evil Within 2 is significantly better in that regard. You're a backup. Yeah, so it's a little stuttery around the corners, even though this is technically running at 60 frames. Definitely stuttery. Did you hear something? And this has nothing to do with the recording software. I've, I typically boot up each game I'm going to stream a little bit beforehand just to make sure it runs. So. Yeah, this is just stuttery. Are you injured? What happened here? Can't be real. Impossible. Ruvik is... I've got him. The security cameras might tell us something. I'm gonna jack the volume up just a teeny little bit. That's a 15. Check the camera. What could possibly be on there? Yeah, generally I would call this like a controller game, but in a game where, you know, survival horror, you have very limited ammunition, having that little bit of extra accuracy to uh, make sure you don't die is actually very helpful. Just kind of makes you feel more in control, so I'm down for it. Yeah, we're probably going to be going with this until like 8 o'clock-ish or so. I don't believe you get too many guns by that point. Um, the intro for this can be pretty long, especially if you don't know what you're doing. I kind of remember what I'm doing. It's all very linear. Is there some kind of setting I just don't have toggled right? Because, yeah, this is just not running super great. Hardware settings. Disable letterbox. Resolution. Yeah, no, this, uh... Does it run better with the letterbox on? Let's see. Just for shits and giggles. No, it does not. And, okay, I, I know I opened this up with, like, oh, I I respect the... I, I subscribe to the auteur theory. I respect the creator's vision. Um, letterbox, nice aesthetic. Not necessarily when you're playing a video game. And you need... Um, especially when it's a harder game. When it's, like, a survival horror game. Because, uh... I need to be able to see what's going on. This dude's chopping up bodies. And we don't really like that. Press space repeatedly. Gotta grab that knife. 
You can also tell it's just defaulting to like the color and button prompts as if you're playing with an Xbox controller. There's no real, uh, I don't want to say diegeticness because that's not the word because this is not diegetic, but it's not using like PC prompts, uh, basically. Okay, so I need a oh, you know, hold control. I'd prefer that to be a toggle. But this guy won't see us. Oh. Uh, where was the? There we go. Actually, let me see if I can toggle, um, where's it crouch, toggle sneak, toggle, I don't like ha having to hold control for like longer than I really have to, uh, full screen disabled, is that gonna help my performance, no, not, I don't know why it's stuttering so much, this is, 30 FPS help? Like, I'll, I'll play with 30 FPS if it's solid. Okay, it is a lot more solid at 30. I will give it that. Let's just do that. It's like, obviously, 60 is just better, but not if it's going to be stuttering all over the place. As long as it looks fine. It's whatever. Which is weird, because this doesn't look like 30, it still looks like 60? A lot of chainsaws. All the way up here, too. Shit. This is basically Shinji Mikami going, hey! <laughs> You remember Resident Evil 4 where we had the chainsaw? You remember Resident Evil 5 where we had the chainsaw? Do you remember Resident Evil 6 where we had the chainsaw? It's just such a running motif with uh, Resident Evil games like post 4. And uh, Mikami knows exactly what the hell he's doing right here. Uh, that, look, that's too fucking close. Just gotta dodge. I want to say for like the majority of this intro, you're not really in necessarily in any real danger. Except for the part that's coming up where you kind of have to sneak. And the sneaking portions of this game are a little bit weird because you're better off not trying to be methodical. You're better off just taking those windows of opportunity while you can. Like being aggressive about your sneaking, if that makes any sense. Nice lighting, though. I can't remember if there's an item here. I always turn, and then if I remember correctly, there's nothing. Yep. I always make that fucking turn. I just have that capital G gamer TM fucking um, instinct to be like, I know you want me to go over here, but that means there's actually something in the complete opposite direction, so I'm just going to do that by default. And whenever there's not something there, I just kind of disappoint myself. Even though it's my own fault. <laughs> See, that door is closed because it has a no sign on it. I think the game that probably give. Oh, did my camera turn off? That's not supposed to happen. There we go. Let's 
this. Yeah, we're good. Uh, I'll move his camera a little bit. A little bit. That. See? There we go. Sorry about that. Where's the exit? Uh, as I was saying, I think the game that does like the best job of like very subtly telling you like what doors you can and can't open, and maybe it's not super subtle, but it still feels like it did the best was uh, La Noir, where any door that you can interact with, it had a gold handle. Like everything else would be silver, bronze, whatever. Um, so just like right off the bat, like yeah, it doesn't make sense why <laughs> these doors are like gold in the universe. Everything else isn't, or maybe it does but it's a nice it's an easier way than just having to go up to each door and like tapping a or interact whatever to see um just to see what you can actually do it doesn't even feel like it's at 30 because i put it to the locked 30 fps mode Lawyer room notes. STEM system operation test begins. Test confirmation of brainwave synchronization. Loss is minimal. Continuing experiment. Agent collects the data. Not so. Um. Oh, whoop. You know what? <laughs> Guess it went away. Uh, it's just, it's just very subtle hints as to what's actually going on. It's not super important. Shit. What was I gonna say? A lot of hobbling around though on this leg. Conveniently, as soon as we get out of this area, he's gonna be able to walk just fine, but that's video games for you. We get it, you're in pain, but it's like the same animation over and over. Nope. Oh. Gotta hide in here. So I guess like later on in other levels you can like hide from enemies and stuff, but I think this is basically the only real moment that you have to. It's pretty optional later on. Kind of makes me just want to play like Alien Isolation or something to be honest. We just gotta wait for his little temper tantrum to end. And in case it wasn't obvious from him busting the door down, the uh, saving of both the profile and the checkpoint are like, yep, now you should go. Let's see. So we gotta basically get past him. There should be some bottles in the environment that we can grab. But, uh, oh, shit, you can. Please don't come this way, dude. Well, I am guess I'm fucked if he comes this way either way, so let's get closer, because he's probably going to turn around. Yep. Okay. Circle around here. Pick up a bottle. Save that for right now. There we go. I know she did. Angle this. Fuck, that box is in the way, otherwise, I could kind of see what I'm doing a little better. Chuck that. There we go. Oh, no, no, don't look back this way, dude. No, 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 no. <laughs> Yo, don't hobble. Or, there we go. Turn off the crouch. Make some more progress. There we go. Nice. I should be good over here. 
Yeah, so my first time playing this, I died to this section like a freaking million times. It was kind of annoying, but it is what it is. Can I not? No, oh, it doesn't give you a prompt, you just have to hit interact. He definitely sees me now. Run. Run, Sebastian. This is the slowest, saddest run ever. Oh, one other thing I forgot about this version. So it has the uh, first person mode, it has the unlimited ammo, but by default you get more sprints than uh, than the original game. So I think like at the begin beginning of the game you have like two seconds of sprint, and here you have five by default. Um, so that's going to have a pretty substantial difference on how we approach encounters and whatnot. Bethesda Software presents, now brought to you by Xbox. Because <laughs> they bought them. I was going to ask like what Tango Gameworks is working on now, but I believe they're working on Ghostwire Tokyo. And I just really hope that they're able to go back and like make a Resident Evil 3. Not, not Resident Evil, fuck. <laughs> uh, Evil Within 3. Uh, that confusion there is... Pretty obvious. They're not even confusion. The uh, the slip there was um, definitely more so due to this is this is the creator of Resident Evil's game. This is Shinji Mikami, and it definitely wears its. I don't even is it considered an inspiration if it's the director who fucking made the original thing? Is he inspired by himself? But now Sebastian's leg is fixed, and we're in the. What would appear to be a normal version of the hospital that's not all gory and bloody. There are explosions of some sort. Make a run for it. Is it necessary to back up? Like, he could have still done that without getting closer to the edge. Case in point. As far as we're concerned at the beginning of all this, um, this is supposedly in the real world. It's pretty wacky right now, though. I do love this part. <laughs> it's so dumb, I love it.
It's just such a weird tonal shift with all this stuff. Like, so the game starts, and it's a little bit of mystery. Now it's like fucking Saw Murder House. Now it's fucking Apocalypse Cutscene, and uh, the game's gonna take a not even just a narrative. It's gonna come to like a halt, and just be like we're gonna go back to survival horror. I'm just like this, this totally. Damn it! It's all over everyone. the place. Everyone must be dead. Just a few bumps, we're fine. 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 We will be once we're fine. far away. Fine. A little further and we'll be fine. 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 Fall! Fall! And he is suddenly turning into some kind of zombie-like thing, pulsing bulbs out of his face. <laughs> Man, I love this game. I love... maybe presentation's not the word. I love its style. I love... Um, plots. It done saving. There we go. Uh, I love it. I, I love its style. I love how. I don't want to say it doesn't take itself series seriously because it does, but it's it's hard to put words into it. The, the sequel's a lot better on the gameplay front, but man, this game's fucking wacky as shit. It does take a while to get into, especially compared to the second. So we've been in a car crash, we're now in a hospital. Why was fucking cop dude turning into a zombie out of nowhere? Why is that Leslie kid from the hospital shouting fall and then like, oh whoops, we did fall. Can you like tell the future? What the fuck's going on here? Um uh, that will all be revealed in an excruciatingly, um, slow manner. The A-plot is very slow. And now we have HUD. Now we can see how much health we have. Bodies found in Lake Sid, Lake Sid, Lakeside Town. Uh, cause of death remains a mystery. More than a dozen mutilated bodies found in the village of Elk River. Several residents unaccounted for. That's not good. Up some brain serum, green brain juice. Hello. That's how everyone's Anybody brains there? runs off apparently. Are we awake? Yes. Is everyone else all right? The city. Whatever are you talking about? You are the only soul here. Right now. A hospital. This place is necessary for you. You're always welcome here. I've been hospitalized. I'm afraid I cannot answer that. You Please, can, but you in. won't. Without signing in, there's no Yep, so this is just basically where you save. Um, I'm a strong advocate for rolling saves. Don't rely on the same save slot. This way, please. Opening the door. It smells like medicine. This is gonna be our level up chair where as my little name for it implies, uh, we will be spending our green brain juice points to level up. Relax. Please, have a seat. Even the context action just straight up calls it upgrade. What the hell? 
You mustn't fight it. This is for your own good. No. Stop. I'm trying to buy the upgrade. My inner key's not working. There we go. There now. You see? All better. Lady, am I going crazy? And if this doesn't make sense, it's because it's not supposed to. <laughs> I don't know if that's much of a spoiler. It's just tossing like fucking horror troop after horror troop, and not. I want to say like maybe 80% of it doesn't hit. Um. Evil Within 1 is such a fucking weird amalgamation of shit, whereas Evil Within 2. Is definitely more straightforward. It still kind of deals with some of the stuff, but one is definitely just like let's toss Shit. a million things at the what wall the and not care on? if any of it sticks. Where am I? There we go. We got a syringe. Uh, that's for healing. Goodman. Oh, you only have to press. You don't have to hold. What is alternate? Nation. We'll put that on four. Connolly. All right, so we just gotta go off and explore on our own. The area's actually pretty freaking dark. Can't really see where you're going past what's directly in front of you. It's gonna follow kind of path right here. Some crows. Oh, F to attack enemies or melee is so useless against like regular enemies in here. I do not fucking advise it. Like so much of my strategy in like Resident Evil 4 and 5 was to like once you've stunned an enemy, if you don't have like contextual action, you should absolutely like use a knife like at basically every opportunity you can uh, purely so you can save ammo for your guns. Okay, I'm going the wrong way. There is light over here. I don't have the the power to sprint yet. That that's beyond me. I need my fucking uh, my running shoes from uh, from the mom in Pokemon Emerald before I before I learn how to run. So graceful. <laughs> uh, so as you can tell from the shadow, this dude's like chowing down on something. Um, can't break that stuff. Chowing down on something though. Oh look, it's a human body. What could he possibly be chewing on? Oh, and I love this shot because it's straight up fucking Resident Evil 1. It's so beautiful. The head drops, half of it's eaten. And he just turns around and does that. Exactly. Ooh. Shit. How many fucking... There we go. My God, Conway. It takes so many shots in here, it's insane. That dude is... Very dead. <laughs> not even a little. Dude straight up is not gonna recover from that. Alright, uh, we... What was the key for our torch? Did I not have a... There's a key for it, right? Handgun, let's put to one. I'm pressing many of my keys. None of them are bringing up my torch. Option, controls, keyboard bindings. Lantern on and off is Q. I did not press Q. There we go. Everyone knows that Q is short for use the Kalantern. Oh, I guess it just told me right. Whoa. Were you warning me about this? 
You're Leslie, right? I'm a police officer. Maybe I should help you. Should help you? Shit. How am I gonna get you to a hospital? Hospital. 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 Hospital! Oh, whoops. My... What the fuck? There you go. Disarming traps. Uh, there you go. It's gotta be crouched. And let's not sprint our way through areas that I know where these are. So we can't really do anything with those parts quite yet, so... An eye out for sure. Yeah, they give you a more sprint here than the uh, original game, apparently. Or you could like, barely do it, and granted it's not much here. He is not a fucking uh, athlete. Using matches. Uh, approach falling enemy and press key to uh, burn them. Destroying them completely, burning consumes one match. You can also apply it to multiple enemies if they're all bunched together. Generally, you only want to use that on enemies you know they're going to get back up. You don't want to use them on like every random body that you run into. I would like more ammo for my pistol though. Not going to burn you, because you're not... You can punch them to verify. No reason to burn that one. Which is weird that the um, the game would like heavily imply to like try it out on that one when you definitely shouldn't. There should be like hidden. I mean, obviously there's gonna be like hidden resources and whatnot, but there's also these hidden. Uh, it's not, is it keys in this one? Or no, there's like maiden statues on stuff which have keys. Which you use back in like the hospital hub to like get unlocks and stuff. She disappeared into the mirror. So basically any mirrors in like little safe zones like this, this that's how we get back to the hub. And you just kind of go back and forth. Journal Sebastian Castellanos, November 2004. Finally got my badge, Detective Sebastian Castellanos. I like the sound of that. Uh, seems a long time coming, but they say I'm one of the fastest ever to rise through the ranks. Can't wait to get started. I know that I can do more good as a detective than I ever could as a beat cop. Plus, I don't have to wear that damned uniform anymore. The pay bump doesn't hurt either. KCPD needs all the help they can get. There's a seemingly disproportionate amount of crime these days. Crimson City is my home, and it's my job to protect it. You're, this guy's sentences are so short. Use some fucking commas, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Maybe it's just the way that like I write. I my sentences are very long. Lots of commas. Which, hey, I got very good grades on all my college papers, so I'm not going to complain. I had one ex that, like, absolutely could not stand my writing style, which... Hey, she's my ex for a reason. I'm not saying it's necessarily for her critique of my writing, but, like, her senses were, like, super fucking short. I'm just like, maybe we don't get along so well. Where this is. Whatever is the matter. Don't aim... I was going to say, don't aim the gun at her. She's... She's helpful. She's apparently supposed to have a much bigger role in this game. She's still in two, but... Definitely reduced from here. Um... As far as, like, her story goes, not super important. This entire area exists purely for gameplay purposes to me. Um... So basically every kind of upgrade here is pretty damn well worth it, except for maybe stock, because you don't get that much ammo anyway. Um, let's see, fire rate, no, reload, no, accuracy, critical. Melee damage is so fucking worthless in this game. And we can't even really afford anything, we only have 1,010. The only thing we could afford is decrease the sway on the target reticule for better accuracy. Don't super need that. We barely have ammo right now, anyway. Guys, we're playing with a mouse. Shouldn't be an issue. Like, if we look at it here, it's pretty damn accurate. It's not like we're going to be, like, sniping. Like, 
They're not super sniping sections, but you do get a sniper later on if I remember correctly. But you'd use a sniper for that. You're not going to be using the pistol. It's like when my upgrades are like so limited by that, I'll typically go for just like I want as much damage in my weapons as possible because ammunition is limited. So you really need each bullet to count. There's Leslie and some kind of demon thingy. Forget what they're called in here. But uh, basically, a major portion of this game has to be done via sneak kills. Because uh, we have one bullet and punches suck. So let's not get directly involved in people's faces. And if you do a stealth kill, I believe that kills them permanently. You don't have to worry if they're going to get back up or anything. Contextual action. Space to climb over obstacles and through windows. But can you climb through Mac OS? It's... Yep, can definitely run faster than the original game. Well, the original release. Alright, so there's some enemies over here. I actually really like this little cutscene that's gonna happen. I'm just a horror movie nut, so totally up my alley. Hey, are you guys from around here? I don't know where. Hint, hint, this was the village mentioned in that newspaper article. Freaking barbed wire going through this dude. This totally has like fucking uh, the Silent Hill movie vibes where the ending with the. This dude's head got split open by it. I fucking love this. This is so good. Um, I should probably heal myself. Let's do that. Okay. So we don't have enough ammo. We know this for a damn fact. So we gotta. Be very aggressive with using uh, sneak kills. I believe we basically have to kill everyone here. Uh, we don't really find that out till you get till the end of this, because you have to like lower a drawbridge or whatever. All right, sneaky, 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 beaky mode. You guys are dumb. You can't see me. There we go. Alright, we're going to circle back for that guy over there in a second. Nope, 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 nope. Circle back around. Once, actually, you know what? We have a bottle, don't we? Did I not pick up the bottle? Uh, nope, nope, nope. Do the duck walk backwards. Something over here. There's gotta be like some collectible or something if I remember correctly. I feel like I'm being pulled just looking at it. Oop, I guess I'm wrong. Could have sworn there was something. Okay. You're still dead. But where did your friend go? He's an explosive. Hey, he doesn't see me. So we can either use this bomb to kill him, or we're gonna still try to be sneaky beaky. I'm gonna be sneaky beaky. So we got more syringes. Let's 
some matches. I don't believe that he comes in the house. I don't know if they sense light or not. I don't believe so. Not that kind of game. Or do I, do I just not... Can't carry more matches, right? Is that the issue? Yeah. Alright, so he's just kind of going back and forth on this little... Fair. Okay, perfect. Do not turn around. Do not. There we go. Um, as is the case with Resident Evil 4, most enemies will drop stuff when they're killed. Um, looks like these two didn't. But they'll drop, uh, like, ammo resources, they'll drop crafting materials, and most importantly, they'll drop the green gel, which you need to upgrade your character. So I will absolutely be going out of my way to try to uh, kill as many of these as I can. Because there are sections where you can, we can avoid combat. I don't know if this stuff is actually blocking their vision. Better way to get it behind them. This is like only, if I remember correctly, this is like the only real big section where you're actually sneaking around enemies. The game really does not rely on this the further on you go. It's gonna sneak. Oh, a torch one. Yeah, wait for that one. We'll go for that one last, because he's not going to... Nope. My dude. Shit. Okay. We're going to do this. Bird! There we go. Perfect timing. And that one's too stupid to even know I fucked his buddy up. So let's see if they dropped anything, I guess. Got matches. Or no, that's a torch. We can like straight up kill some enemies with that. Right. Uh oh, bullets. Very useful. Can't pick. Can't reload it right now. That is a lot of noise. More pistol ammo. Let's see if I can get that out of the way. I believe there's something over here. Yeah, there's a whole other section I usually miss. Uh, the correct way to go is over yonder, but... Let's see, crouch for right now. Oh, I just gotta hide this right... Oh, god damn it. There we go. <laughs> So you basically get one kill with the uh, torch, and I believe this dude had one. There we go. That's fine. Oh, damn, that hella bright brightens it up. Oh, even these uh, have stuff in them. Resources. Oh. That is a. What is that? No, it's map fragment 2. Apparently missed map fragment 1, but that's okay. I'm not gonna fuck with you. Because my melee here would, um, fuck that up for me. 
Got some green gel. Dismantle. Not gonna burn. Like really, you should not be burning bodies unless you know that they're gonna get back up. Like if you, uh, one effective thing you can do is like stun enemies, like shoot them in the legs to cripple them and then burn them. That way you don't have to use as much ammo, and stuff like that. But otherwise, yeah, there's just a lot of random bodies that are never going to get up, so don't. Oh, someone coming this way. Got a duck in here. Bottle, but I don't really care to use it. Dismantle this thing. Actually, we could use it to kill one. Let's do that. Here, we're going to pick up the bottle and just to be a jackass toss it here is he gonna come on come over here buddy <laughs> oh they're so dead and there's still one somewhere in the area but we have a torch so it's not an issue Things really don't like fire. Oh, we're full on syringes. That is a good problem to have. Pick up that one. These are stuff. Nope. Can't grab that. Disarming bear traps. Did not even see that, so thank you for popping up the tutorial. I hear enemies. I don't see enemies. Oh! Right in there. Oh! Almost didn't see that. Alright. They're over here. I want to leave this and see if I can sneak up. Here, buddy. You see me, right? Come on. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, I'm right here. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's the situation you should burn. And you know they're gonna get back up. And, yep, and he dropped goo. And there's more. I called it goo. I, I think it's just called green gel. Not like brain. It has a brain symbol in it. I believe these two get up, actually, for this next, uh... So, like, when you when you do that to raise the gate, these two get up, so... This one instance, I will break my rule, and... Yep! I was right. And one of them dropped goo. Goo gel, gel goo. And nothing says fun like having to mash a button repeatedly. It's a true test of you of your skills as a capital G gamer. And if I recall correctly, there's no real way to avoid this giant mass of enemies that's going to begin chasing me. See, there's like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five enemies. And we do have a decent amount of ammo. 
10, or no, 6 in Eclipse, 7 in Stock, so 13 bullets. Um, yeah, there's another one over there, too. So it's like, you can sneak past those ones, but this guy's directly in your path, so... Can't do much about it. Shit. Better get out of here. It's gonna run. I believe. Yep. Cutscene time. God damn it. So this is kind of... So basically now that we've done this whole introductory like prologue and even this first little sneaky chapter, this is basically where the real game starts. We're going to get a lot more into the shooty shoot territory. Um, I believe there's still some opportunities to do sneaking. I know the Evil Within 2 is a little bit better about pacing that kind of stuff out. Um, like, if I recall correctly, that's about the sneaking you're really going to be able to do. Where it's just like the entire level you can basically get through stealth. There might be like one or two enemies in like any given section you can stealth, but... We're mostly done with that at this point. Alright, so we are back on land. We floated a way, miles away. Ways away, I think is the expression. Stomp the box. Nothing in it. Nothing. And we're good on... Oh, we have it. Got that little tiny sliver. So, when we go back to the upgrade room, I might have to upgrade the max inventory for the uh, syringes, just because I would have rather to have just had that extra one in storage versus having to use one prematurely. Oh, some form of enemy around here. Up there. That's a lot of them, actually. A lot of nope. Oh, some fucking massive bodies right there. Can I go yet? There you go. Shit. Game is just really going for freaking Resident Evil 4 vibes with this village right here. Uh, so there's actually a lot of areas in this, um... <laughs> there's a lot of areas in this section that you can explore. Uh, you can you definitely miss out on stuff. You're not required to, like, check out every little house. There's no, like, kind of elaborate puzzle structure to it or anything like that. But, um... Yeah, you can find a lot of resources of your diligence. Let's see. Don't want to go over there yet. Not want to do that. We found a hatchet. This is another one hit kill, uh, one hit melee weapon. You don't have a head. Not good for you. Oh, go. Oh. These are, uh, it's proximity. You can disarm them if you get the timing on these right, which is a little hard. You only get one turnaround, which I didn't know the first time around, but you have to stop it in blue, otherwise you blow up. So, there we go. You can get a, definitely get a benefit, but it can also fuck up your run, because it does a lot of damage. We've got a grenade. Uh, that. When the fuck did I get the shotgun? I didn't even notice that. Holy shit. Got a medical kit, incendiary bolts. Damn, I'm doing good. 
So where did I put my melee weapon? Did I... Let's keep the melee weapon. That's going to be our first line of defense for right now. Uh, is that openable? Nope. Can't open that. Stairs. And there's another wire. Some of this, some of these explosives might actually be worth keeping, uh, because enemies are gonna spill out, and you can kind of like retreat to wherever you want. Um, on the other hand, if you leave all these devices uh, open and you forget about them, and then you come back, you're gonna be running into explosives uh, alongside with enemies right behind you. So the explosive doesn't kill you right away. Uh, now you have enemies on your ass, and you have like a sliver of health. So, oh. The doctor is somewhere around here. But we're not done exploring. I've never really found the need to upgrade the matches because I just don't have to use them frequently, so it's a little redundant to need space for more. Who's there? No, don't shoot. I'm not one of them. I'm a doctor. Marcelo Jimenez. You were in the ambulance before it crashed, right? Yes, we're lucky to be alive. Have you seen anyone else? My patient, Leslie. I saw him running up ahead, but... But? Come this way. Quietly, mind you. I love that voice actor's voice. He has, like, such, like... I don't know if rasp is the word, but... I like the performance. What up, dude? Oops. Have a look for yourself. Those things chased me all the way into the village. Me too. They're all over the place. Leslie went through that gate. And now it's closed. <laughs> there are too many to shoot our way through. One of us could try to lure them away while the other gets the gate open. You're the one with the gun. So, say so. so pro tip. Ignore that advice. You will find enough stuff to take these enemies out, whether it's melee or bullets or whatever. Uh, you're going to have to fight these guys eventually. <laughs> uh, there's no way around that. Uh, unfortunately for us, there is... There is a crank Oops. on the terrace. You will need to operate it if I'm to pass through. He kind of sounds like the voice actor that does like... Uh, uh, not Aku Aku, Uka Uka from uh, Crash Bandicoot. I could be hell off base with that. But yeah, there's a sniper over there. So going through the middle is a no-go. We gotta find some ways to sneak around. But first we gotta get our... I don't want to say doctor friend. Doctor associate is probably a better word. Gotta let him through, be a distraction. And we don't have to worry about him. He's fine. Over here, here. Hey, we... over here. That's right this way. You got a torch. Use it, dude. One hit kill. That old guy's gonna get himself killed. All right, so we're just gonna. Oh, there's enemies in here already. Shit. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Yep, one hit kill. And now, oh fuck, this guy has a gun. Um, wait for him to around the corner. There we go. Gotta abuse these uh, melee weapons while you can. All right, so we have pistol. I got a shotgun with two shots. A grenade. This. For whatever reason, enemies don't trigger these. Only us. Oh, fucking damn it. It feels like the, your input on this is like super late. So, like, I try to aim for like the middle. I don't want to be too early, too late, but it always winds up on the tail end. So, I have to make a mental note to just do it way ahead of time. It seems like. Okay, I'm going to heal because if I get hit again, I'm dead. Uh, cause that took out half of my health. Well, time to test my- Never mind. <laughs> I 
I just suck at these, apparently. Okay. Back to not even square one. I've lost two health needs. This sucks. Fuck these things. Glad they're not in the second She's game. Gone. And there's a lot of them in here, too, so I need to just get better. Uh, Journal Sebastian Castellanos, December 2004. First day as a detective. My new partner, Mira... My Myra Hansen is a real firecracker. Tenacious and no nonsense. My kind of woman. But I've got to watch it. Okay, sorry. But I've got to watch it around her. She almost caught me checking out her. Ah, the, that's not. Don't do that. That's bad. You're in a workplace. Don't harass people. Bad Sebastian. <laughs> Alright, so we're back into the hub, and we have a lot of green juice. I'm using like a different word for it every time. Gel, goo, juice, slime, excrement. We need that green excrement to uh, to empower ourselves. So let's do this. All right, I would like to focus on weapons. Get the, you know what? Oh, I forgot. We currently have a zero critical, so that means we have no chance of getting like a uh, explosion. That is not good. We need that upgraded. Um. Fuck it. Let's just let's get this handgun fucking going. Yeah. I have so much gel, what the shit? Um, that's probably a bit more than we really need. Wait, no, it's only 3,000? Oh yeah. Damage multiplier. For when it doesn't get that. Yes. So I don't take... I won't need to uh, increase my health if I don't get shot because I'm too busy doing too much damage. So we're playing uh, fast and dangerous with this. I want to be dishing out as much damage as I can. Alright, there's a sniper over there, so we need to flank them. I don't want to get shot. There's a maiden thingy up there, but we won't go to that till later. Matches are cool. Some more syringes. That's more pistol ammo. Oh, fuck these things. God damn it. Okay. <sighs> Let's not die. Focus on that. There we go. <laughs> I hate these things so much. I really do. Climb up to whatever attic is up here. Oh, there is a maiden statue. Just punch it. Got a key. Oh, and more brain juice. Can you not slide down? Oh yeah, and there's another one of those executioner-like enemies that we saw in the uh, opening. Where's this chainsaw though? I don't know. 
bear trap for whatever reason that in the second floor of a barn this would not be an actual placement pick that down though for easier access Rain juice. Climb down. Hey, biggies. Oh, there's a hatchet. Hell yeah. Grenades. Not gonna let you out anytime soon. There we go. Oh, there was a bear trap right there. Good thing I didn't step on it. Oh, you guys want to fight? Come on, come here. I'll burn you. Oh, damn it. Uh, okay, I messed up the timing on that. That's okay. Oh, it actually went through the fucking hole I made in his head. Damn it, I'm trying to fucking burn shit and... There we go. I'm gonna let that health regenerate, otherwise I'm just kind of wasting my thing. I need to use some of these grenades, because I think you can only hold three. Yeah. We're gonna use that for our next enemy or whatever. Can I sneak up on you? Why is my health not regenerating up? Oh, it's just like super freaking slow. Oh no, you need to stand still. That's the issue. Okay. Uh, let's see. I have a med kit. Use the med kit. Because once you use it, it, it gives you more health. But you also get disoriented for whatever stupid reason. So, since we're not in the middle of a fight, optimal time to be using it. Jump down. Oh, there was a freaking bear trap right there. Okay. Where's the sniper? Oh, there's a maiden statue. I didn't even see that. How do I get up to it, though? Oh, there. He's right fucking there. Okay. Come back for the maiden statue. Ooh. Explosive. Okay, so I know there's a maiden statue in the tower. There's one right there. I didn't previously know about. We'll come back for that, though. I did not break that. Come on, go go through, buddy. Too late. Shit. Got his thing though. I am covered in blood. But it's so freaking gnarly. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh. Another shotgun that I already had? Is this part of like the new version? You get like the shotgun early or something? Because Already had it. 
Oh, you got two different kinds, I guess. Yep, okay. That works for me. Down. Nothing. Oh, come on, let's get this thing. Too early. Damn it. Come on. Come on. There we go. And just to make sure she's dead, let's just do it again. Yep, we good. There's an enemy somewhere. Go left first. Go got the Agony Crossbow. Has a strong bowstring which appears capable of launching heavy projectiles. Explosive bolt. Very good weapon. And you can also create bolts out of resources. Um, let's put grenades on four. I need to use some. Otherwise they're just going to waste. So we got an explosive, um, incendiary, I think poison's new. I'm gonna stick with incendiary for right now. But I'm gonna stick with the pistol now, cause that's what's upgraded, so uh, that's what I'm gonna do. Oh yeah, the harpoon's actually silent, so if you miss a shot, it's totally fine. Oh, oh, you son of a... <laughs> that works, though. That did not kill you? Really? This freaking agony bow is so good. Gaming this game totally sucks with a controller, though. Here, let's... There we go. Super important to increase the uh, critical chance from zero. Anyone have resources for me? There's a lot of ground. There we go, got that key. So let's circle back a little bit. Do um Hey! Oh! Someone fell down. <laughs> there we go. You're dead. Gonna drop anything though? Green gel. Is it? Oh, damn it! Shit. What? Really? Here you go, buddy. <laughs> oh, they went flying. That's great. Here. I don't want you sneaking up on me, so I'm gonna. Take care of you right freaking now. They didn't even notice me. Oh, still. And now we get green gel. Oh, did I not pick that up earlier? 
Oh, shit, shit, shit. How did I not see you? There we go. Green gel. More stuff. And more healing. It's just like super freaking important that you go around just smashing shit um, so that you can get more resources. I believe this is back to like the safe room area. Nope, oh, just a little extra storage shit. Hey, buddy. I, I see you. I'm not ignoring you. Oh, no, there's one, two. Come on. <laughs> you don't see? What's wrong with you? Dude. You should pay more attention to where you're going. Look both ways before you cross the street. Oh, oh! That was sneaky. I got super lucky with that. Alright, so we have drained basically all my pistol ammo, so... I would kind of like to save my ammo for my other weapons, so... Grenades are our first line of defense for the moment. Does he have to be so slow at climbing ladders, though? This is a big ladder. Flash bolts, a warhead for the Agony Crossbow, which can blind opponents with a powerful flash. Blinded opponents can be killed from any direction with a stealth kill, so... Flash bolts, very fucking powerful. Very useful tool. Reasonings. Yep, that's where they fell from. Oops. How do I back out of this? See, there we go. Can we please slide down? Maybe? Perhaps? Uh, this is so slow. Oh, here's a box. With nothing. Let's go help out our doctor buddy. Alright, so that activates the spikes on the stairs. Enough of the sneaking shit. Oh yeah, we can craft more um, bolts too. It's not super necessary. I'd rather save that for when we actually like need it. I can't see what I'm aiming at because there we go. Yeah, I can't see what I'm aiming at because the frickin' dot is too fucking close to the actual weapon on screen. Uh, pull up. the double barrel oh because i didn't um because that's the one i have keyed in it's not the oh there we go 
There's a doctor. How did you get it open so quickly? You're welcome to give it a try. Please, time is of the essence. It is imperative we find Leslie before anything should happen to him. Hey, Nitro, how's it going, man? It's playing some Evil Within, trying not to get killed by spooky, totally not zombies, but totally zombies. Subject numbers four through thirteen. Brainwave activity diminished, but synchronization achieved. Subjects should begin experiencing a shared consciousness. Previous trials indicated rapid deterioration of consciousness. Their minds became an exquisite mass, an amalgam of mental carrion. I'll have to connect myself if I want to experience their terror before it diminishes. So you can probably tell just by his voice and obviously what he's talking about, this dude's a little psycho. Uh, you will continue to prove that theory um, throughout the game. Uh, let's see. Going good. You had a banger of a stream just now. Awesome, dude. Your streams are always a great time to hang out in. I still need to hit you up for some smash on Sundays. <laughs> At least you wind up super busy on Sundays, which kind of sucks. But I think that's about it for here. Um, the window, because I feel like it's... So let's get this gate open, but then it's going to turn out, oh no, we can't open the gates. Due to the certain uh, chain of events, right. we can't open the gate. something that'll get through this. Maybe a chainsaw or something. She specifically says chainsaw. And, uh, wouldn't you know it, there's a chainsaw enemy that we can help free so we can get his chainsaw. I still have the shitty chains and not chainsaw the uh, shotgun equipped. Cause these are two different shotguns. There we go. Oh shit! Okay. Shit! Damn it! Can you burn him? Nope. Oh, fuck. Okay. This is not good. Damn, he's too far from the fucking thingies. Um... You not poisoned? Okay. I need to put. Okay, hit myself a bit with that one. <laughs> but he's dead. That's all that counts. In any case, it wasn't blatantly clear. Um, the evil looking dude is indeed. The evil guy. Defeated the sadist within the village. Hooray. Um, unfortunately, I think we are piss out of ammo now. We have a different shotgun. We have flash bolt. Hmm. Let's make one of each of these. Because you only have a max of two for each, so let's make... I don't care about the poison. Didn't seem to do much. But yes, the, the ultimate tool to open fucking chains is a, is a chainsaw, of course. That's the most logical option we can do right now. So that obstacle's out of the way. Wait! Over here! Wait, uh, officer. You must take me with you. Detective, 
Castellanos. Leslie should be just ahead. It is imperative that we find him. All right, chapter. Th I'm sorry, chapter three's done. Uh, first real taste of combat. It's uh, definitely best. I don't even want to say best to place on PC because this is not like a. Or at least the original port of this that you can buy on Steam is not super great. This seems to be a little bit better uh, as the Game Pass PC version. Especially since it gives you more sprint out of the box. That's uh, that's pretty damn useful. But man, it was rough playing this like on a launch PS4. It just did not control well. It did not look great. It didn't run great. thinking it was familiar and safe. You know where we are? Just ahead is the hospice my brother runs. He'll take us in. That didn't answer my question. I honestly don't know. For all I know, I'm losing my mind and you're just a delusion. But I'd like to think I still have a shred of dignity and an obligation to protect my patient. As an officer of the law, you should too. I hope his brother's not a jerk too. Let's see, there's a mirror somewhere around here. Oh, got a hatchet. Let's see, Myra almost killed. I'm sorry, Myra almost killed. Uh, Myra was almost killed this afternoon, shot by a suspect we were pursuing. Thank God I was there. She's gonna be okay. But seeing her bleeding like that, thinking I was gonna lose her without telling her how I feel, was unbearable. I think she feels the same way. There's something undeniable between us. It's against the code of conduct, but I have to let her know how I feel. I hope I'm not setting myself up for embarrassment. Don't do it. I know it's in the past, but don't do it. Let's go turn in some of these upgrades. I knew it. Like some of these upgrades can be like a little bit arbitrary, but you don't really have enough resources to upgrade all your stuff, so it's more meaningful because of that. And like increasing your critical chances of like getting uh, like proper headshot explosions, whatever you want to call them. You should find this useful. It's uh, I I do find that useful. Oh, she's gonna show us where we can use the keys. That is quite useful. Um, because I don't really much care for like little Sweet. insignificant like stat increases that you'll find them. Basically, what Diablo popularized. Um. I'm more interested in, in like getting substantial skills that fundamentally change the way you play, and I would argue that yes, increasing the percentage chance of uh, getting critical hits taking, absolutely does. It transforms the way you play a little bit. You don't talk much. But we have two keys. Detective Castellanos, do you have a key like this? I have two. I I am holding, yes. That key will allow you to open this door. He doesn't even walk around, just walk straight through the character model. The contents Got a freeze bolt, which as the name implies, freezes stuff. Freeze. Come back whenever you need to. Apparently full on them though, I did uh know that. Open another one. Or pistol ammo, hell yeah. Oh whoops, there was something to interact with? Oh, here's the map fragments. Um, I already missed one, so that's out. That's fucking out of the question. Not like I'd really track these down either way. Don't have to open this specific door so slow, dude. All right. Weapons.
increase critical. I, I should also upgrade the shotgun as well. But hey, if we have the points to spare, let's fucking go all out. Shotgun's more so going to be for boss enemies, so we don't really need that critical. Alright, let's get back to it. There is hella time for fooling around. That's like my favorite thing to do, man. Alright, so Leslie's going over there, which means we don't want to go over there. We want to be doing some side questing, get some more resources and shit. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. Holy shit. Let's go to the... in here, where bad shit's happening. Oh, do I not have grenades? Did I use them all? Hey, fuck me, I guess I did. Brain juice. I'll get on matches. That's three. Like, there's so many places you can hide, but you really don't need to. I don't understand what the point is. Villagers know, they got Norman, his cries for help just cut off. I can hear screaming every night. If I don't stay hidden, I'll know I'll be next. Please don't let there be something as I pass through this. <laughs> Fucking... Okay, doctor got me a little bit. Fucking doctor douchebag over here. Okay, so that's where Leslie went. Uh, oh, the burning ghost left Q for whatever reason. Uh, side's blocked off. Go back to this first house over here. We must be going. I am where, but I don't care. Oh shit. There we go. Now I have a grenade. I apparently helped someone escape. Yep. Someone ran off. There you are. Thanks for the goo. <laughs> Got some more harpoons. I uh, should start using those, otherwise they will become redundant. That is a lot of dead people right here. Don't tell me you're getting up. I do not. Do not. I will shoot you. Someone talking in here. Good dark. What could have happened here? Feel away. No tearing. It's Gar of the Sand. 
At least his voice actor. <laughs> It's me. The good doctor is here. This is my brother, Valerio. Leslie's original doctor. Your doctor's... Your brother's all kinds of fucked up, dude. Let's expose everything. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, I fucking love this game. Oh. Shit. There we go. It's all about those crits. This guy's supposed to be some kind of psychologist, but... Here he is, mutilating bodies. I remember watching like, I'm pretty sure it was It was, um, oh, the key is inside. Experience the vision in the hospice in chapter four. Um, it, it was some people that, like, they all actually, like, scratch through their fucking skin and, like, right down to the skull in their head, and it's pretty bad. Uh, gotta make the stabby. Now we gotta do the Ricci. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty good. It's just like the fucking uh, the scene from The Thing where it just like clamps up on the dude's arms when he's trying to do the uh, defibrillator. Where did I go? Oh. Leslie? That came from outside. Yes. Leslie can wait. I got exploring to do. Let's check upstairs. Slamo bottle. Oh, mother <laughs> fucking asshole. <laughs> if you're gonna follow me, stick behind me. Jesus Christ. God damn it. Fuck. <laughs> Not cool, doctor. Good thing there's no like fucking friendly fire, otherwise, I would have totally blown that dude's head off. Excessive noise. Oh well. Oh. That is the beauty of critical sh headshots. You'd always upgrade that. Otherwise, you're going to be spending like four or five bullets in each enemy, and why would you want to do that? You can be spending one. Alright, I think that's about it. Now we can actually get back to what we're supposed to be doing. Which is getting Leslie. Um, I don't necessarily have enough to go to justify like going back to go upgrade, so. We Leslie we go. Don't leave you behind, then fucking hurry up. Come on, dude. Chop chop.
Oh. Forgot I had the X. That's pistol ammo. Which is He's gone down there. Is there a... I don't think so. Oh, but there is something. Shotgun ammo. One bullet or shell. If you want to get technical on it. Leslie. Somehow he's. Somehow he's dot dot dot. He doesn't want to finish his sentences. Pistol. Oh, I have too much pistol ammo. I'm doing too good with my pistol. Help me, Leslie. Help me. Oh, thank heavens. Dr. Hermenis is here. Set him down. Wait, Doc. I think something's coming. Something is here. Settle down. Just give me the juice behind you. That's what I want. Oh! It's invisible. Slash it. There we go. This place is a death trap. Is there anywhere safe at all? I think that's unlikely. Hmm. Can't get out. Can't get out. We must be going this way. I I you are locking me into Can't place. Can't get away. Oh, I can get that extra bullet. No, I... There we go. The stairs are gone. We must be collectively losing our minds. Losing our minds. Losing our minds. Losing our minds! Losing our minds! Losing our minds! Oh, God. Spooky burn, Rufi. naked man. It is you. Otherwise known as Ruvik. Who the hell are you? No. He just said his name's Ruvik. Don't follow? Okay. I won't. I will stay here. That's what a smart person would do. Or in a video game. So that's not what's, what's gonna that? happen. Doctor? Leslie? I lost them. They have disappeared. Fuck. Let's try to get to that door, though. It's gonna take a million years. Yeah, there's not really like a what natural sense of level progression here, and that's definitely the points, but doesn't always necessarily translate well for uh, players. Almost blew myself up. That shorted out apparently. Nope. Not fucking. No, 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 no. Do not. Do not fuck me over on this. And 
And now we have to fight people. Because Rubik says so, and Rubik doesn't like us, so... That's the law. It's, it's, it's his world. I can't deny that he gets to create what he wants. Shit. Damn it. Okay. This, you're gonna explode. Don't need to worry about you. Run! This pistol is saving my ass. Damn it. No, do not. Reload. Damn, I have made this pistol too fucking godly. Holy shit. This is so beautiful. Oh, damn. The pistol is so good. Like, I don't know if I can, like, possibly make it more obvious, but... Uh, you need to invest your upgrades into the pistol's, uh, uh, critical. Best way to play the game. Don't dump it straight into firepower right away. Because firepower is nothing if you can just instantly get rid of dudes left and right. You got goo for me? Yes. No other goo, apparently. I got gypped out of that. Um, there was some other stuff around here. Why is there a ladder right there? Go anyway. Oh, there is more goo. Damn, the pistol is too freaking good. So happy I spent those points. That is a bomb. Oh, I can't open that, even though it had the no sign on it. The game is lying to me now. Shock bolt, which, shockingly, uh, sucks. Oh. Oh. Oh, that was close. Oh, that is an explosive thingy. Don't need it now. Pistol is too godly. Things through here. Nope, we can't open you. Pistol ammo. Oh, that's bad. Run. Shit, I better run. Can't open that. Ah, uh, shit. Fuck. Shit. There we go. Run. Running out of stamina. Not good. Where do I go? I'm being greedy. Just go for the thingy. Come on. Go, 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 go. <laughs> that is so creepy. I don't like that at all. Come on, go, 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 go. What is it with you? Come on, go. Don't have time. It's all one hit kills with this too. She can spawn on, on bodies, so let's get rid of the bodies. 
Jesus Christ. I will never get over that fucking enemy. Out. Ooh. Uh, damn it. Uh, that was close. Yep. Oh, full on shotgun ammo, apparently. Can't really carry. Why does it keep defaulting to the other shotgun? I don't like that, to be quite honest. There we go. Nope. Yeah, we gotta run away from Ruvik. He will kill us with one hit if he gets too close. Don't want anything to do with him. Please go away. This makes no sense in the best way possible. That's the end of that chapter. Okay, so let's make a save. And I'm going to take a quick little restroom break, but I will be right back. All right, and we are back. My bladder is emptied. TMI. <laughs> but yeah, let's just go straight on to the next chapter. Remember to drink water. It is healthy. It's good for you. Seems someone wants me hospitalized. Drink a lot of water. Good for you. Also makes you have to use the restroom, but that's okay. Oh, what? I was trying to grab the bolt, but okay. <laughs> Let's see. The bad news is that I have been reassigned to a new partner. The good news is that Myra said yes. But even the bad news isn't so bad. Joseph is a great detective and we're a good team. Crimson City needs more men like him on the force and it's an honor to be working with him. But sometimes it feels like bailing... Wait, what? But sometimes it feels like bailing out a boat with a giant hole in the bottom. For every crime we solve, it seems that ten others are committed. The KCPD is a thin blue line protecting the populace from the criminals. But sometimes it seems like there's more of the latter than the former. Yeah. I do like the finding out his past kind of like almost exclusively through these notes. 
and it actually kind of helps flush out Evil Within 2 a lot. It goes very explicit into those details. Necessary for me, my ass. It's definitely kind of like the same structure as it's present, like the original Resident Evil it. games. Granted, you weren't necessarily reading your character's diaries, it was the whatever research facilities you were at or whatever. Save again because why not? And let's see what we can afford this time. Because my pistol is a freaking murder machine on regular enemies. And we're not going to come into like any big boss battles for a while. Let's see. Weapons. Can't. That is, that is a lot of freaking brain juice to get that. So let's focus on some damage multipliers now. Uh, shotgun, we really won't be using for headshots, but we should at least get it to some percentage. Uh, let's see, charge time, reload. Um, should get my life up a little bit, I guess. Oh no, health recover from the syringe is increased. That I should definitely be getting. Um, But we can also get some of these smaller ones out of the way. Like some of these are going to be very helpful like in the middle of fighting. And I think I'm doing a pretty good job of not getting hit in the first place because I am just killing enemies before they can get to me. So, hell yeah. Alright, let's see what I'm full on for weapons. Just that. Uh, I believe I have too much shotgun ammo. Is that it? X4. Okay. Someone in here? You do not have limbs. You kind of need. You don't need them. It is advised you have those. I believe there's going to be like invisible enemies around here. Let's see if I can sneaky sneaky you. Oh! Okay, no. <laughs> oh, this fucking game. Or upgrade juice. Hopefully I don't get turned around. That's where I came from. Something in... It disappeared. How's about we do this? I'm just gonna put that right there. Because I know you're gonna trigger it. Uh, shit. Oh, it tells me exactly where you are. Because the laser on it. See if I can burn you. Oh, you're already dead. Good safety precaution. Okay, so totally forgot that. Um, the laser can detect enemies because it will stop on them. Good mental note for myself. Can you get this out of the way? I would like to enter the room. I guess not, though. Anything in there? Damn it. <laughs> My strategy worked. That's creepy. I would like to leave. I do not like this bathroom. Looks like I have to get down. Let's jump down. I have t entirely too much pistol ammo. 
Um, maybe I should invest some points in increasing the max for that, since that's becoming a recurring issue, evidently. But if I remember correctly, um, there'll be more of these invisible assholes. Okay, so we need uh, some kind of key card. Locked. Need to find a key card. Where I. Oh! That's where you are. Damn it. Come on, shotgun. Let's just fucking shotgun you. Reload. There we go. Shit. Gotta focus on them, like, moving shit around. It'd be safe. something in that room that's for sure fucking ammo there you are buddy <laughs> just pinned to the freaking door nice um oh shit you are getting up that's Right, good. Um, let's. What is it? Does a freeze like do damage to them also? Yeah, I guess so. It's mainly. Or no, yeah, it could still be useful because then I can use other ammunition. Are your eyes glowing, or are you just, like, actually dead? <laughs> um, I can use that. I have no re reason not to. Hospital keycard. Please, no one. You motherfucker. Okay. Oh! Okay, come on, come on. There we go. Now I'm very paranoid. I, I fucking hate these invisible enemies. Oh, hell of freaking juice, though. Hey, Rubik, buddy, old pal. Yeah, I definitely need to upgrade my pistol capacity. Oh yeah, this room gets 
super crazy blurry for whatever reason. It's not an issue with your computer or your console. The room is just blurry. I don't even know what it is. I have no idea why they thought this is a good idea, because I don't like it. So we have to pick the good symbol. So there's like a five-pronged flower, and then there's like a sunflower. That's uh, that one. Sunflower. Do I get stabbied? No. The other thingy gets stabbied. Now we gotta look through this people. And oops, there's another door. Alright, so there's three gear and then a four gear. It's the three gear. Oh, there's a note over here, actually. He lies, and to his own son, his own flesh and blood. It's outrageous. Gone to a better place? That hypocrites. That sanctimonious fool. <laughs> I know the truth. I know him better than he knows himself. He's trying to punish me again. He always resented our closeness. Thinks he can use it against me. Does he take me for a fool? Laura is not dead. Huh. Laura is... I think this is for Ru Ruben? Ruvik? Ruben Ruvik? Let's see if there's anything in these things. Oh, brain juice. These, these are fun little puzzles, they're not like super brain teasers. Must suck to uh, die from these though. The simulation of subject's consciousness. Initial symptoms. Sharp pain and brainstem at centered on insertion point. Followed by gradual onset of hemorrhaging as capillaries dilate. Over time, degradation of the ego generates strong suicidal tendencies. They lose who they are and become clay, completely reshapeable in my image. But not me. Something keeps me from staying completely within. All right. Um... Who's fucking grunting over you? Alright, so we have... I can't see those symbols. Let's see. There is one kind of like cell, and there's a cell with like a little tail end of it. Um... Cell with a tail. I mean, we could survive this by literally standing right here where there's no freaking spikes, but God forbid we do that. And that's a lot of blood on that wall specifically. Yeah, no idea why they wanted to go with this blurry part. It adds nothing. It just makes you think your computer's fucking broken. Hey, there's Joseph. Joseph. We saved you, Yuri Lowenthal. But it's definitely not okay. You brought me here? Oh, 
He's going Jesus. insane. What happened? My head feels like... Like... Do you hear that? We need to get out of here. Can you move? Yeah, I... Joseph! He can move downwards as he collapses. That is considered kinetic movement, is it not? Heal. That's much better. We gave you our heal juice. Extracted it from our heal. It's part of our foot. Leg, foot, leg, whatever. Let's get out of here fast. What will we find? Nothing! <laughs> oh, shotgun ammo. Juice. That is my cat crying to get in the room. We'll get her in a room. Too much pistol. Oh! <laughs> That's one way to check if they're alive. All good in here. Oh, they already know I'm here. All right, one. Hell yeah. Shit. Back up. Back up. Back up. Run. God, they move so freaking fast. Come on, push them off. We just need to get these headshots. Damn it. Run. Right here. Do this. There we go. Hell yeah. Damn it. Here, let's, um... Agony crossbow. Use the... Flash, right? Flash bolt. Yes. No, I, I, shit, I didn't select it. Okay, um, equip. There we go. Now we can just knife him. Oh, that only works once for one singular enemy. That could have gone better, overall. Probably should have busted out the shotgun, but I did not. But now I can grab the pistol ammo from here, I guess. Let's see, two extra bullets. Here, let me, let me cat it. You want to say hi? You want to say hi, Mac? No? You are very talkative before. Your butthead. Okay, though. Nope, oh, okay. <laughs> That's cats for you. They don't make any sense. They exist to annoy you. She freaking comes up to the door, like, freaking constantly wanting the door open. And then I open the door, she doesn't want to come in. And then I keep her the room. She cries that the door isn't open so she can go out. And then she goes out, and then just, just back and fucking forth. That's her assholes. I love them. Love them to death like they're my kids, but... They are assholes. Do Oh, don't tell me you're actually alive. Damn it. Now you're not. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have punched it. Oh, there's a syringe.
that up. Use. Here, oop. That is a very complicated looking door. <laughs> this looks pretty sophisticated. Why would they put a bomb like this? Do you think we can get past it? Stand back. Let me see if I can disarm it. I gotta defend you. I'll remember. Apparently he's a frickin' wonderkind or something. Well, he's a smart kid. I wouldn't have been able to do it. Ah, what is it with this sound? I thought it was something electronic. Oh. He's getting corrupted. You okay, buddy? Nice transition right there. Pretty seamless, all things considered. Joseph, after Connolly, I thought... been feeling well but look let's just get out of here there's something wrong with this place yeah you you think you're just barely now coming to that revelation a little late very late <laughs> Surprised this isn't playing Snake Eater right now. Let's see, there's stuff in here. Matches. Oh, shotgun ammo. Yep. Explosive. Man, I just love getting upgrades in this game. They're actually very, very rewarding. <sighs> Hello, spooky lady. It's crazy, because you always expect something weird to happen here where, like, enemies are going to invade, and it never happens. But the tension that something might is also pretty damn scary. Did it stop being black and white now? Music's dying down. Can we just go to the chair? <laughs> Let's do this. God, this game is fucking weird. Let's see, weapons. Let's get that clip, not clip capacity. Uh, stock is one of Because we're running into issues with that. Damage multiplier, I don't care about for this gun. Definitely for the shotgun, though. Let's see, we have 2700. Um, oh, I, fuck, I didn't know. You, you can't upgrade the individual bolts. Um, damn. I seem to have just like completely missed that. 
Life gauge. Yeah, we can get some points into that. I'll put some points in the Agni Bolt when I can, but pistol and shotgun are definitely like the first lines of defense. Still black and white right now. Can't save. There she is. No, no, not that way. No. Hello. So many new admissions, and not a single discharge. Can we go back to normal now? <laughs> Let go of me! Let go of me! Fuck. Fine. 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 What the fuck is going on with you, Leslie? You don't look well at all. <laughs> Do take care of yourself. Uh, thanks for that. I'll take that advice to heart. Alright, um... Here. Oh, map fragment. So we have two and nine. We've missed everything in between as well as number one. Kidman! Get me out of this thing! Wait a minute. It's another trap. Look. <laughs> it's much more loud. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Joseph, are you all right? All right, time to fight some fucking Zambinos. Um, let's get these grenades going. Better use them when there's a bunch around. Here, let's right here. Yeah. Just trying to maximize how many people it's gonna hit at the same time. Okay. Go. Shit. Shit. Okay. Let's hurry it up. Shit. Come on. Come on. How many of these things are there? Come on. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up, dude. Still got a little fight left in me. Oh shit. Oh fuck. 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 Okay. Um. You need. Explosives now. That only took out one. That's here. Let's chop you up. Apparently, there is free shotgun ammo, so. There we go. Fuck. Okay, we need to follow this pipe. Right. 
at you. Sebastian, they're above us. Uh, it's not good. And they're throwing shit. Because they're fucking it's rude like, as hell. Oh, Damn, freaking ghost of scope. Oh. Stop throwing them off. There we go. Watch out. They've got dynamite. I am aware. Is that is that it? I think there's still something nearby. She'd probably be trying to help Kidman. She's not doing too good. Get in there. More of them on the move. Don't be a hero. Back off. Oh shit. Damn it. Okay. This isn't working. Guys have freaking masks. Let's see what weapons can we use explosives. Shit. Let's because I don't want to fuck up this thing. You are not getting back up, dude. I saw you twitch. Come on. I'm acutely aware of that, my dude. Yeah, no shit. Where do these cables go? I'll go. Tell me what to do. The what? <laughs> Look at the freaking icon. The water is way above that. Holy shit. Here, we still have time to farm for resources. towards it. Oh, there's a key in there. Look at the control panel. It's got the same kind of dials, right? Yeah, a top one and a bottom one. Set the upper dial to 22 and the lower dial to 5. I think there's another control panel around here. There we go. Are you all right? <laughs> this fucking Joseph. game. Let's not jump down there yet. Let's clean this place out. I 
Oh, and look, the enemies are gone. Now we can just get this stuff in peace. Oh, there's hell of stuff. Jeez. Good thing I didn't try to open any of these while the enemies were actually still here. Some more boxes. Hang on, I'm coming. I'm coming, but first I gotta walk around for ammo and stuff. But yeah, those those masks are gonna be an issue for my uh, for my pistol game. Though I still gotta focus a bit on actual damage because those masks are fucking up that strategy. What kind of ammo do I have? That's not a, a key said examine, not jump down. Those are two very different things. Go? Right through here. Come on. One. Two. No resources. Freaking beauty. shooting. Down. A lot of blood all over the place. And I can't see shit. Kidman, you there? Some brain juice. Climb up here, though. It's a question. Yes, and there's stuff up here. Being a good little explorer. Kidman. Hang on. There we go. Oh, you got juice for me. One. Oh, this dude's all armored up. What the fuck? Sebastian. Save that. They can stop freaking moving. Are you guys all right? We're all right. Just a few bumps, we're fine. All right, so they're both good. Let's heal, kid. Not fucking Joseph. Looks like the door's locked from the other side. Sebastian, maybe we can lift this enough for Kidman to go under and open it from the other side. We're counting on you. All right. <laughs> 
Let's get going. Yep. We should go. Wait, is this not the... Oh, that's where it came from. Okay. There's literally a hole right there. Why did we have to I'm use the door? All right. It's odd though. Why would they catch you instead of just killing you? Maybe he didn't see me as a threat. He. You know the big evil dude that we've been that we've been seeing this whole time. I gotta admit, I'm not another a, one of those doors. Like this freaking demon lady, whatever. She's like legitimately fucking terrifying. But I can't stand the insta kill bullshit in this game. It is quite annoying. Let's see. Wedding invitation. Detective Sebastian Castellanos and Detective Myra Hansen joyfully request the pleasure of your company at their wedding celebration. Saturday, the 17th of September, 2005. So that's a year after. Damn, that's pretty fucking quick. At half past 12, the Veranda Hotel, Crimson City, reception to follow. Sebastian. Have you forgotten something? No. Uh, I think I'm probably going to call this extreme just because we've been going for two hours and 40 minutes. Um, let me just do these upgrades real quick, then I'll go and do a little spiel or whatever you want to call it. We're not going to upgrade melee damage. Hell no. Not even wasting our time with that. Let's see. Yeah, we can upgrade the syringes. We can upgrade this. Yep, that's it. So yeah, thanks for hanging out, everybody. Um, you can find me and all my content at the link tree that's in the description down below. I stream my podcast, Game Session Pod, on Sundays, 9th, not 9, at 6.30 p.m. PST. Uh, I stream games here, kind of whenever. I'll update my uh, stream schedule via Twitch as well as if you follow me on Twitter. That's just kind of the best place to keep up to date with me and my shenanigans. I also post planned streams, what I'm thinking about streaming and whatnot on, over on there. Uh, the Game Session Podcast later winds up on podcast services as well as on YouTube. Is full episodes as well as individual cut-up segments for easier digestion purposes. I write some news article stuff once in a while over on my Medium and... Yeah, that's about it. Thank you for hanging out, everyone, and I will see you guys next time. All right? Bye.